Welcome to the House of Automata and an instructional video on Nodding Automata. Today we're going to learn how to put one in beat. And I'm going to pass over to our expert, Michael Start. Thank you, Maria. These are German automata, quite common, but can be really finickety. Listen to that skipping tick-tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. This is unreliable, and we need to adjust this out to be a nice rhythmic tick-tock. For that, we tilt the automata using a wedge. Hmm, that made it worse. It's actually stopped now. So let's try the back. Much better. There's the rhythmic tick-tock. Now you notice he's quite fast. He's missing his hat and he's missing his flag, which adds weight and that slows him down. So I'll just add a little weight to compensate for the missing elements. There we are. This will go for hours now and we have a nice, a slight raise at the back. Now we don't want a wedge in him the whole time. So in order to make the adjustment permanent, I'm going to bend a lever in the back so we can remove the wedge. I'll show you how that's done. We need two pairs of pliers. And we'll show you the lever. You can see an S-shaped lever here. That's called the crutch. And because I raised the back of the automaton, I need to lift the crutch, just bend it slightly upwards at the tip. If I'd have raised the front to put it in B, it would be bending the crutch downwards. So, supporting with my pliers, so I don't strain the pivot, I just gently bend upwards to compensate for the wedge. Let's see what happens. Perfectly in beat and no wedge. So lifting the back, bend the crutch upwards. Lifting the front, bend the crutch down. And there you have it in beat. Michael Stark, House of Automata. Thank you.